Oi Geilberg hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft here on the Highcraft server. Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'ma do it all for you, come along and see us. Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft here on the Highcraft server. So, uh, we're back over in the shopping district for just a little bit today. Um, after yesterday's episode, I went ahead and really dug in, did a bunch of work, and decided to name the uh, the rail station over on the other side, the Sandy Shore Station. So, this is now working. Uh, if we just jump through here, we'll be able to kind of follow this path down. It took a... Um, I'll, I'll, I'll politely say a, a ridiculous amount of work to get this tunnel completely dug out, to get the glass placed, and I think it may have been a uh, um, a mistake to do it underwater because it was horrible. It was like the worst experience ever, digging all of this underwater and then placing it. Yeah, it was not it was not the most fun. I'll say that, but um, I think that the um, the, the results definitely speak for themselves because it looks amazing. It looks so nice underwater. Now, I do still have a little bit of kind of fine touches to sort of finish up. I need to, you know, replace some of these blocks in here. But overall, you make your way on over, you hop out of the minecart, and you get your minecart back. So um, definitely it is working. And so the other station, I think we're going to call the one we just left the tunnel station. And this one will be called Sandy Shores or something to that effect. Um, and yeah, you can now traverse from one station to the other with pretty much the click of a button. So I'm pretty excited that this is, uh, yeah, that this is <laughs> it's actually working. So pretty great. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm legit pretty, uh, pretty exciting. So. All right. So with that, uh, we'll probably go ahead and um, have Raven come over and help us with uh, a little bit of the decorating bits, but uh, we'll probably do that a little bit later. I want to get this side finished. Um, I need to get the connection from the sandy one to the hill one that'll be over there completed, and then from there back over to here. So I think what the plan is going to be, just to kind of reiterate, I know we've been over this once or twice before, but you'll be able to, from the main entrance you'll have two destination options uh, the first one will be right here it'll be just on the other side and the second one will be sandy shores so then from there uh, you'll end up either over here which is uh, where we just came out from the uh, the sandy shore option it'll pop you out here the minecart will hit the cactus the cactus will pop the uh, minecart off and then you'll be standing here so then from here welcome to the tunnel station um, we got to do a little bit of stuff here. We got to remove all these chests and, and materials and things, and then uh, there'll be some sort of a uh, an, an exit, an egress, something this way off into. <laughs> You'll be standing at the entrance to the uh, the actual um, like area. So from here, I think that I'm not I'm not sure, but I think that this is going to be the spot that everything kind of returns to so what we'll end up doing is somewhere down here we'll have the other rail station possibly here kind of detour onto this track and then this will lead them up to where they'll get dropped off so this will be kind of the uh, the only drop off point on this side so all three really all four of the stations will dead end here well three yeah so yeah and then over here this will be the uh, the departure area so this one will allow you to go from here to pretty much everywhere so this one might be significantly bigger once we get everything kind of hooked up so now I'm thinking that I'll have to have a uh, an, an exit thing that will allow you to go from here to the sandy shore from here to the beginning which is already done and from here to over there yeah so it'll be three that's fine because obviously you won't be going there all right i think we've got it all sorted out so this one will take you back to the beginning uh, i need to build one over here that 
dumps you into that line over there which could be a little problematic but I think we can make it work and then uh, we need to do one from here over to the uh, the mountain so not a big deal all right cool well we're gonna be working in the Mesa today I just wanted to kind of recap you guys on the progress that we made in between episodes so I'm gonna head on over to the Mesa after I repair my pick and uh, we'll pick it up over there in just a few minutes all right so we uh, we just got everything uh, fixed up and you may notice a little uh, a little something different so uh, Optifine just came out so I figured today would be a great day to use some uh, some shaders here in 1.12 and I think it's looking amazing I'm very happy I don't know about this texture pack that I got um, it's I mean it's okay it's it's fine it's better than than you know not having one at all I guess but it's not really kind of fitting in with what I was looking for especially with shaders so um, yeah I was just watching uh, tacos video and reflex watching it now so we were just kind of commenting back and forth about it but uh, yeah so I think a couple other little recent developments have occurred the first of which is we've designated this little kind of plains biome right through here, this whole area. We've designated this as our mini games area. It'll probably stretch into this uh, small little chunk of uh, dark oak forest over here, or roof forest as it were. But um, that, I mean, that's not like it's gonna be an issue or anything. So, um, all right, well, I'm gonna hop in my boat that I have over here at the, uh, the northern dock building thing, this guy, and uh, head on over to the Mesa. All right, so we've made it back over to the Mesa, and I was just kind of walking around over here, and I realized that there's no easy way to actually get from um, this point right here. I made this kind of obelisk thing so people could figure out, you know, sort of the general, look at this texture. Wow. This is nuts. Is is Raven reading my mind again? I mean, this is crazy. Look at how... I mean, that looks amazing. Terracotta is, like, definitely in my favorite block list now. That's awesome. Okay. Um. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. There's no, there's no easy way for someone to figure out how to get to my base other than using coordinates. So I think... Um, not necessarily right here and now, but I think over the next couple of uh, days or episodes or whatever, I need to build some sort of uh, a path-like structure um, over to my base from kind of over here. So I may, I don't, I don't know for sure, but I may go ahead and tear down a lot of this kind of mountainous portion right here and create sort of a path. I've already started over this away and there's just ow there's just a little bit of um kind of a not actually a staircase but there's a little bit of a uh, sort of a, a walkway that you can very clearly see because it's white and it's right here but i'm thinking maybe we should extend it out a bit make it look a little more kind of obvious um, put some lighting in, you know, so if somebody does want to for some reason come and visit us They can make their way on over and it won't be kind of an epic crazy journey to get there. So Yeah, maybe we should do that. Let me know what you think All right, so now that we made it back over here um, The couple of things that I definitely wanted to get accomplished over here today because we haven't really been spending too much time over at the Mesa base um, since we kind of founded it We've done a lot of uh, other projects and things. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. Let me take that out of my offhand. And we can boop, boop, and a boop. There we go. Okay, cool. So I want to get this uh, this farm set up uh, with my normal kind of one-click variation on it. Um, so that's going to take me probably just a few minutes. I need to plant all of the crops, and I need to, before I do any of the planting, I need to get the actual... Um, redstone stuff all set up which I mean it's not gonna be that big of a deal and I believe I have all of the necessary materials with me so we'll place in um, all of the hoppers uh, down here at the bottom and we'll have just kind of a, a pickup system that will do 
like I said, most of this stuff is going to be pretty temporary. So we need to get just kind of some things established over here. So we'll throw some hoppers in, probably down in here, have them feed into a, a chest, just a single chest that'll be kind of right, right here. Um, we need to add in all of the, all the slabs. I should probably do that first. All right, so I need to gather up the materials that I'm going to need. I need one more a, a single chest that we're going to place, like I said, right about sure, right there. And yeah, all right, cool. Well, let's get uh, let's get our stuff going. Oh, we've got pumpkins and melons. Nice. All right, cool. Well, I think uh, before we do anything, we'll go ahead and replant these uh, these melons, so we can make even more melons. There we go. Why did I only get one? Where'd the rest of them go? Oh, there. That's better. How many do I need? I don't even know. All right, let's just get to planting. One there. I need one more. Yeah. All right, now we have all of the melons and pumpkins. Perfect. Okay, back to work. All right, so first things first. Uh, one click farms always require a, uh, a block to walk on along the outside edge and to keep the water inside So we're gonna place all this in here now if we place this block right here You're gonna see the water dries up. So we're actually not gonna place the water there We're gonna put it one block further So we'll put one more there this steps down like that and then it goes right in through there So now this is all pretty well connected or so you would think. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. So what we have to do is actually remove this block from this location here, changing the water stream. And now we can put it exactly where we want. So one goes there and there, but that does have a small effect of stopping a water one block short. Um, that usually doesn't have a huge effect, but it's pretty easy to, uh, to kind of fix that. You just right here where the water comes down, you just put a water source block in there and this will extend it out to the last block. So, so, so go ahead and do the same thing on this side. We're gonna replace this block right here with a water source block and bloop. And then same thing on this side, water source block goes right there. Now, while we're doing all of this, we might as well go ahead and remove this block. This is our trouble block. So we'll get rid of that one and we'll get rid of this one there. All right, so now we can put the rest of the, uh, the slabs in. So we'll just, uh, right there's fine. And, oh good, we didn't even break it. All right, so we can remove this like that. We'll put one right here and one right there. And then ah, there, there, and there. All right, good. So now we can finish this side and the other side has a, has a barrier on it, so we shouldn't have to worry too much. So there, 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 and there. And then coming right the way up, go ahead and step up one. And then we'll put this one right there. All right, perfect. So now we can connect. Oh, shoot. That was a misclick. Get out of here. There, there, there we go. All right, perfect. This side is done. This side just needs the top run. There we go. I really like this texture also. This really is nice. Like the way there's, if you kind of look at it from the side, you can just see divots in the wood. Ah, oh, it looks fancy. All right. So now this side is all done and that side is all done. So what we'll do is let's just grab our 16 dispensers and we'll place them in. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remove the torch, eight. Let me go pick that torch up. And then eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. So now we're gonna need 16 buckets. Ugh, not ideal, but that's fine. So we'll go ahead and put this right there and button goes directly on top like that. And then we'll grab our redstone dust and the redstone dust just goes right on top. Connecting all the way over here to the button. Same thing on this side. Boom, just like that. Now click the button, all the dispensers trigger and you have yourself a one click farm. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish uh, tilling up this soil and then we'll do uh, a little bit of planting. Now, each one of these are the same size um, as far as like the, the rows back to front. So I think we'll do an alternating pattern of all four crops so we can get all of the uh, all the seeds and stuff we're going to need. So we'll do wheat, carrots, potatoes, beets. 
wheat, carrot, potatoes, yeah, beets. Okay, cool. And I believe I brought a stack of each, so that should be more than enough. Now, I'm going to go ahead and sleep, seeing as it's almost nighttime, it looks like. Uh, so we'll get our sleep on, and then once we're done with the sleeping, we'll get it planted. And while the crops are all growing, we'll go ahead and do the, uh, the hoppers. So let me get the crops planted, and I'll be right back. All right, uh, it's now morning. So I'm just going to plant these crops. Now, uh, a long, long time ago, I learned that planting crops in uh, staggered rows is definitely a better way to um, kind of grow everything because they will definitely grow a little bit more efficiently. Um, so I'm going to do this exact pattern here, just alternating rows of wheat, then carrots, then beets, and finally uh, potatoes. So now that I've got the potatoes in, we'll go ahead and do more wheat. We can do more beets, more carrots, and last row is potatoes. So this way we should have a uh, an exactly even number of, uh, of each of the crops going all the way down. So that should hopefully allow for them to kind of get uh, get growing at the maximum efficiency. But it looks like for some reason I have less beets than I have of everything else, which is a little bit strange, but whatever. Uh, hopefully we have enough to complete the, uh, the, the crops. We'll see. All right, I'll be right back. Unfortunately, I didn't actually have enough. Kind of a problem. Not a big deal. So uh, yeah, once once we do this harvest, though, we'll definitely have enough to uh, to replant everything. Cause uh, yeah, that's that's the way it works. All right. So I need to add a couple more um, planks right in through here. Actually, no, I won't do that. I think I'll put one like right at that. Do I have one? Yeah, I'll put one at this level, right there. So then if for some reason we happen to fall in here, we can actually get out that way. And then I need to dig all of these up right through here all the way across. And then in this spot, we need to put hoppers facing inward. So let me grab, oh gosh, yeah, let me grab some hoppers. All right, got the hoppers. Uh, I also went ahead and grabbed the, uh, the planks we're gonna need. So figure chest goes there. And then this will go one, two, three, four, five, and a six. Then we'll have to kind of climb out of here to get the other two. Six, so that's seven, and there is eight. So that should be sufficient. And then we'll just jump down. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. Perfect. All right, cool. So now this is all done. So we just need to wait for all of the uh, all the crops to, to really grow. And then we will be all set. Cool. So um, I think I'm going to go wander off into the mesa a little bit and try to find another uh, abandoned mine shaft. Uh, not the same. Well, I guess I could go to the same one. I definitely didn't get all of the materials from the uh, from the last one, but uh, I think I'm going to try to find uh, a different one if possible. And with any luck, we can get more rail materials because now that the first section is done, I'm going to need to start working on the second section. And that took, I mean, it took a lot of resources to build. So like I said, if possible, I'd like to kind of scrounge up as much as I can and save on, uh, you know, collected resources. So let's see what we can find. Okay, so I did find this sort of cave there doesn't appear to be a really easy way in oh my gosh it's pretty big so let's just uh water our way down i think that's probably going to be the uh <laughs> oops the best solution to get in there because immediately i see that there is uh gold right here there's some coal and stuff but i don't really i'm not super worried about that and i saw some iron so this cave turned out to be quite larger than I had originally thought, but um, it was like kind of packed full of ore, gold, and iron. So uh, not too upset about how deep it went. And there is a mob spawner in here. Now I haven't opened this chest yet, so let's see what's inside. Golden apple, I'll take that. Music disc, uh, some string, I'll grab that stuff. 
Uh, the rest of this I'm just going to leave, and I'll, I'll give this bone and this spider eye to this uh, this chest. Um, there was a witch in here, though, so that's pretty pretty fancy. Got a little bit of gold stone, or gold, gold, what is it? Glowstone, glowstone dust, glowstone powder. I don't know what it's called, but I got some of that stuff from her. So, uh, thanks, witch. Uh, all right, cool. Well, let me uh, finish. Ah, jeez, what the, but, oh my gosh. I'm not lighting this cave up very well as I'm exploring, but uh, thanks to dynamic lighting, uh, it doesn't look that uh, that bad. Oh my gosh, there's a ravine here too. All right, I'm out. All right, we're out of the cave, and we ended up with uh, about half a stack of gold and uh, oh, a, little, a little over a stack of iron. So uh, if we do find a mine shaft, I need to set up a temporary kind of encampment to uh, start smelting that stuff up. So, all right, well, we're continuing uh, west-ish. I don't see an easy way up, so we may just have to make one. Uh-oh, see the edge. Uh, okay, so it looks like, yeah, it looks like there's a frozen biome right next to us. Yeah, okay, so I think now I'll head, what's this direction, south? Um, south yeah i'll head south kind of skirt the edge um a little ways in and then just kind of keep an eye out for for things inland and then uh if nothing else we can always kind of double back so all right direction change there is a cave right there though i think i think we'll head over there Total bust. Another cave. Ooh, okay. This shows some promise. Um, I mean, what? Seven rails. Seven rails and some cobwebs. Um, what? Oh, okay, there's a little bit more. What? Wait, what's that? Oh, okay, here it is. All right, that was weird. Uh, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yay, what? 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 and some, oh, here's a little bit more. Oh, uh, there was probably more here, but the water probably made it despawn. Oh, cool. Water probably uh, caused the tracks to despawn. All right, cool. Well, let me get my uh, little temporary smelting site set up. Although, I don't I don't think there's anything else here. Um, all right, well, let me get, like, a little uh, area set up. Oh, here's more. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we'll just set it up right here, right at the end of these tracks. Um... Yeah, and then uh, we'll poke around a little bit at least. All right, we've got our little uh, furnace set up smelting uh, all of our gold and iron, and I noticed there's a small hole right there, so maybe that's the uh, the entrance to the big uh, the big mine shaft. So if we just head in here, uh, this is more more like it. So let's pick up all of these. Oh, gold. Awesome. Okay, that's fine. Get the rest of these. And here we go. Alright, head in this way. Good. Whoa. Um, Uh-oh, we're going to lose that block if we're not extremely careful. I'm relatively sure that you can't actually walk on floating rails. There. Okay. What? Okay. I feel like this mine shaft was uh, not spawned correctly, and so it's kind of there's nothing. 
nothing of any like value here. So I think I'm gonna finish smelting all this stuff up. Oh wait, there's one up here. Wait, did I already look in this one? Yeah, I did. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna finish smelting everything up and we'll uh, make our way on over to someplace else. I don't know. We'll keep wandering, I guess. All right, everything is smelted, and I think I think we're gonna go do the the dragon the dragon fight now together like as a group so i'm going to end the episode here that'll be a separate episode you can expect that to come out tomorrow um yeah so i'm going to head on back over to the base drop everything off and get prepared for that um i'm not 100 percent sure but i think we might do like a uh, an interesting twist so we'll see all right guys but i do want to thank you a bunch for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did let me know leave me a comment hit that like button if you have a suggestion for this or a future episode leave it in the comment section down below otherwise that's going to do it for today uh thanks for watching leave a like subscribe if you're new do all that stuff you know how youtube works and uh yeah i'll see you in the next episode so from all of us here on the highcraft server thank you for watching and have a great day bye hi that's gonna be perfect Yes! Yes! I got it here! Was your last episode about um the one i'm doing now or the one that already came out the one that you just just did it was i built a farm nice what kind of farm uh like carrots potatoes wheat all that fun stuff nice